friends. Today we're going to work on our fluency by reading some fluency phrases. I would like you to echo me. We look at... Where was it? I want to look. Where are we? He will look. Boys and girls, before we read our nursery rhyme, I would like to practice the magic E with a few words. So let's look at this word right here. There's an E at the end. We're gonna see if we flip our eye if that's going to make a real word that we know. So help me sound it out. Ready? Five. Five. Is five a real word? Yes, it sure is. Let's look at this one. That E, we're going to see if when we flip the I, if it makes sense. Ready? N, I, N. Nine. Yes, that makes sense. Nine. That's a real word. Okay, let's look at this one. Let's see if when we have the magic E there, if it's going to flip. Ready? B. I. T. Bite. Is bite a real word? Yes, it is. Now, boys and girls, unfortunately, Sometimes we have rule breakers. It happens every once in a while where a word doesn't follow our rules. And I'm going to show you a rule breaker. This word right here. If we try and flip that I, let's sound it out. G -ive. G-I-V. Is G-I-V a real word? No, let's try it without flipping it and we'll still make that E silent. We're not gonna hear it. Ready, G, IV, GIVE, like give me a cookie. That is a real word. So you have to be careful if when you sound it out that doesn't make sense or it doesn't sound like a word you've heard before, then maybe you need to try a different vowel sound. Think of what other sound your vowel could make. All right, now we are ready to practice our nursery rhyme. You are going to echo me, starting with the title, one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Once I caught a fish alive. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Then I let it go again. Why did you let it go? Because it bit my finger so. Which finger did it bite? This little finger on my right. Great job, boys and girls.